Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my YouTube channel if this is your first time of tuning in or seeing my face. So today's video is kind of me commemorating my one year anniversary of graduating. I completed my master's degree at Raw University in Bochum. I loved my experience at RUB. It was amazing. I met amazing people. I had a beautiful experience. So this is one year after and I just thought it would be nice for me to share a couple of things that I have learned from my experience. I'm really grateful for the past year. It has been an amazing experience so far. Grateful, thankful to God, thankful to the amazing community that I have. Um, my family, my friends, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Anyway, so moving on to this video, like I said, I'm going to be showing a couple of things that I think would be beneficial or that you should um, consider adopting if you are about to graduate. This is not only specific to people who are pursuing a master's degree, but I think it's also something that you should consider um, adopting or thinking about if you are also pursuing a bachelor's degree in Germany or wherever, because they are quite general, okay? Anyway, let's begin. <laughs> you should be very selective in choosing your thesis supervisor or your dissertation supervisor if you're writing a PhD, of course, because um, I unfortunately had to write two different theses on two different topics, but that's a story for another day. But anyway, yeah, so I had to write two, two different theses on two different topics with two different supervisors, actually. And I felt like if I had been very um, picky and put a couple of things into consideration, before um, deciding to write my thesis at my first supervisor's chair, I probably would have only had to write my thesis one time. However, I'm sharing this information with you so you don't have to go through the same experience as I did, okay? Ask your supervisor a couple of questions, one of which is if you would have the freedom to ask questions during the whole process of writing your thesis. Some supervisors will tell you it is just like an exam and you cannot reach out to them whilst you're writing your thesis. And something else to also ask is who would be your primary contact person when you do have these questions. Usually busy professors would assign you to a PhD student and you want to know if you and this PhD student align and if they're actually quite knowledgeable in the research that you're doing because you want to have interaction with someone who would be helpful who would help you and would answer your questions with good clarity so you know how to proceed in relation to choosing your supervisor speak with people who have already written their thesis and have successfully completed their thesis to know their experience with this particular supervisor this will be relevant if you've not already written a seminar paper at this chair or you've not taken any course at this chair because if you've already taken courses at your professor's chair you already have a feel of your professor's approach so it's easier for you to decide if this person is a good choice for you or not most people tend to write their thesis with the supervisor that they have taken their courses through the course of their studies so if you're doing your bachelor's and you find a professor that you like his his research field and he has been quite helpful if you're asking questions, he's very open to answering questions and yeah, probably a good idea to write your thesis at this chair. After you've written your research, it's important that you check for plagiarism because you know, you have read research papers from other people and you're kind of sometimes paraphrasing or you're directly making reference to a particular paragraph or a particular statement that has been made in this research. So you want to make sure that you have not plagiarized in your work because here in Germany, taken really seriously, you might actually end up failing your thesis. I used um, Turnitin and a couple of paid um, applications. There are also some free ones, but to be honest, when you're writing 50,000 words of research, it's quite stressful to start um, using the free versions of plagiarism checkers because they have a word limit of I think 1000 or 2500 depending on the one you decide to use. This point is very important because a lot of people tend not to do this is taking a rest, chill, okay? And I'm not saying chill and forget about your research. I'm saying chill when maybe you have a writer's block and you're unable to progress or you don't know how to proceed. But when you have a clear mind, you you have the opportunity to see things from a different perspective. While I was writing my, my master's thesis, 
I was quite ambitious. I wanted to write every single day because I had a four month time frame and on days I did not write anything. I felt bad and then I felt like, okay, if I'm not writing a particular amount of words in a particular day, then I multiply it on the second day and then it, I feel overwhelmed and I end up not doing anything. So what I'll suggest is on days you are unable to write something, maybe you have a writer's block or you don't know how to proceed, you might want to read a couple of more um, research papers and um, have a look at the at, at your outline see if what you've already written aligns with your um, outline that you've presented to your professor um, you might want to do some programming if you need to do some programming with your um, academic research right that way you're not racking your head to you know put words together and make sure that you're not plagiarizing anything so just try to rest Rest your brain, rest your body, take walks, go to the gym if that's something you're into. Visit your friends, hang out with your friends, go out. Yes, just rest and eat as well. Eat. People tend to forget to eat. Some people tend to forget to eat when they are stressed, right? So try to eat and just take, you have time. Okay, just rest. Okay, just rest. <laughs> Try to foster a good relationship with your supervisor. And how do you do this? By being inquisitive um, prior to when you even write your thesis. I think you should even be inquisitive normally when you are attending lectures, like ask questions. If you cannot ask questions during the lecture, you can directly send an email to the supervisor, to the professor. Most professors are very happy to Get questions from you so try to have a good relationship with your supervisor because your supervisor could write you a recommendation letter and the recommendation letter is going to be based on his or her interaction with you or her, her impression of your abilities in terms of your research or your participation in classes that you have attended prior to writing your thesis at his or her chair I'm not saying this that you should just be bombarding your professors with questions just because you want to get a recommendation letter from them. It should be genuine because you want to, I don't know, you want to learn more about this particular research that you are writing on, you know. I think this is also important for people who want to pursue a doctorate degree because then you can um, already have a, a working relationship with your current supervisor who might end up being your who might end up being um, a second supervisor for your dissertation or not, but someone you could potentially ask questions if you choose to advance your current thesis topic to another level, you know. Have your thesis reviewed by professionals if you have the money for it. There are a lot of editors, academic editors, that you can request their services to review your thesis for you. Also, um, what I did was um, I have a friend who is very smart and I sent him my thesis and he read it. I also sent it to my siblings who are not economists in any way or form because, you know, when you read an ac academic research from biology or medicine, being someone who is not in that field, you should be able to understand where they are coming from, right? So I sent it to my siblings to get an objective view so that they can read it and tell me if they actually understand it clearly because trust me if they do not understand it then your supervisor would probably have some issue with like um, that part of your research and it's probably something that they would ask a question on during your defense referencing is an important aspect of your research because you have to make reference to every material that you're using or that you used in your research to avoid being marked down because these things are going to be checked okay and there are different types of referencing you have to speak with your supervisor to, to know which one he or she prefers for the referencing you can either use apa mla and a couple of others like i said speak with your supervisor to know which one they prefer and in terms of referencing, I think using a program would be beneficial in the sense that it would be easier for you instead of having to type um, out um, each academic paper that you've read because trust me, it's going to be a handful. And I'm not talking 10 academic papers, I'm not talking 15 academic papers. Options are Citavi, 
there's also Zotero. Citavi is um, the one that is highly recommended at my university and in most universities in Germany. But there is Zotero, there is Mandali, um, yeah, and a couple of others as well. So see which one is easier for you to learn. In my university, for example, they offer training on how to use Citavi um, for referencing. So you might have to check at your university to see if they also provide this option for you to learn how to reference and actually in my university i remember they um, do some training on how to write a seminar paper so ask at your university there's probably a training on how to use a referencing program or how to make sure that you're writing your thesis the right way start sending out your applications on time perhaps three months before graduation i didn't start applying until one month after my graduation so i graduated in september of 2021 I started sending out applications sometime in October actually and then um, my first interview was sometime in November so um, just like I said um, previously try to rest you have done a lot of work of reading and writing a, a research paper so relax if you want to sleep you need sleep because writing your thesis sometimes gives you sleepless nights especially when you're confused on how to proceed right so sleep travel visit friends rest you know eat eat food and do anything that makes you feel relaxed you deserve it okay thank you very much for watching if you found this helpful please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Take good care of yourselves. Bye.